The designer of the B-2 stealth bomber, Nosher Gawadia, finds himself incarcerated in a supermax prison, a consequence of his involvement in a complex web of espionage, unauthorized dissemination of classified information, and violations of export control laws. Gawadia's pivotal role in the development of stealth technology for one of the United States' most advanced military aircraft was overshadowed by allegations of treachery, as he was accused of sharing sensitive military secrets with foreign governments, notably China. His actions not only jeopardized national security by potentially enabling adversaries to develop countermeasures against U.S. stealth technology, but also violated legal statutes governing the export of defense-related materials and services. Following a protracted legal battle, Gawadia was convicted on multiple counts, including espionage and money laundering, and subsequently sentenced to a lengthy prison term. His placement in a supermax facility underscores the gravity of his offenses and the perceived threat he posed to the integrity of U.S. national security. Background Nosher Gawadia's contributions to aerospace engineering were substantial, particularly in the realm of stealth technology advancement during his tenure at Norfolk Grumman. His pivotal role in the development of stealth technology for the B-2 Spirit Bomber underscored his profound expertise and innovation in the field of military aviation. Gawadia's deep understanding of stealth principles and his ability to apply them to aircraft design made him an invaluable asset to the aerospace industry. His work not only contributed to enhancing the capabilities of the B-2 Bomber, but also played a significant role in shaping the future of stealth aircraft technology. Gawadia's legacy as an aerospace engineer is defined by his groundbreaking contributions to stealth technology, which have had a lasting impact on military aviation and national defense capabilities. Charges and Conviction Gawadia was arrested in October 2005 and faced a total of 21 charges, including 1. Espionage Gawadia faced grave accusations of divulging classified data concerning the B-2 bomber and other highly sensitive military technologies to foreign entities, notably China. The ramifications of such actions were profound, potentially eroding the security fabric of the United States by furnishing adversaries with insights that could be exploited to devise countermeasures against U.S. stealth technology. The gravity of these allegations underscored the severity of the breach and the profound implications for national security. By allegedly providing classified information to foreign governments, the what he had jeopardized not only the integrity of U.S. military capabilities, but also the safety of military personnel and the nation as a whole. Such actions posed a direct threat to the strategic interests and defense posture of the United States, necessitating swift and decisive action to address the breach and mitigate any potential fallout. 2. Unauthorized Export of Defense Articles Gowedia faced charges of violating the Arms Export Control Act, a crucial piece of legislation designed to regulate the export of defense-related articles and services from the United States. The specific accusation against him centered on the unauthorized transmission of technical data and defense services to foreign nations without obtaining the requisite authorization from the U.S. government. This breach of regulatory protocol not only contravened established legal frameworks, but also posed significant risks to national security. By circumventing the proper channels for export approval, Gawadia potentially enabled foreign entities to gain access to sensitive military technology undermining the integrity of U.S. defense capabilities and compromising strategic interests. The charges underscored the seriousness with which the U.S. government views violations of export control laws and highlighted the imperative to uphold stringent measures to safeguard classified information and preserve national security. 3. Money Laundering It was alleged that Gawadia utilized the proceeds acquired through his illicit activities to fund a lavish and opulent lifestyle characterized by the acquisition of luxury items and indulgence in extravagant expenditures. Instead of adhering to ethical standards and legal obligations, Gawadia purportedly chose to channel the gains from his unlawful actions towards personal gratification and materialistic pursuits. This behavior not only demonstrated a blatant disregard for the consequences of his actions, but also underscored the extent of his deviation from accepted norms of professional conduct. By prioritizing self-indulgence over ethical responsibility, Gawadia further compounded the severity of his offenses and contributed to the erosion of trust and integrity within the aerospace and defense community. Such revelations served to highlight the depths to which individuals may stoop when motivated by greed and self-interest, even at the expense of national security and societal well-being. Key Details of the Case 
transmission of classified information, Gawadia was convicted of designing a clandestine cruise missile exhaust system for China, a development that significantly bolstered the missile's capacity to evade radar detection. This illicit endeavor, undertaken without authorization and in contravention of U.S. export laws, represented a grave breach of national security. Reports suggested that Gawadia received compensation totaling at least $110,000 for his involvement in this project, underscoring the financial incentive behind his actions. The revelation of Gawadia's role in enhancing the military capabilities of a foreign adversary served as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of unchecked proliferation of sensitive military technology. Foreign Travel and Consulting the investigation into Gawadia's activities uncovered a pattern of extensive international travel to countries such as China, Germany, and Israel, where he purportedly engaged in consulting services and shared classified information. These travels were marked by clandestine meetings and interactions with individuals and entities suspected of having interests in military technology and defense capabilities. Gawadia's alleged dissemination of classified information during these engagements raised serious concerns about the compromise of national security and the potential ramifications for U.S. strategic interests. His actions underscored the challenges posed by the global spread of sensitive technology and the need for heightened vigilance in monitoring and regulating interactions between individuals with access to classified information and foreign entities. Financial Transactions Evidence showed that Gawadia conducted complex financial transactions to hide the origin of his earnings from these activities, a common tactic in money laundering. Trial and Sentencing In August 2010, following an extensive trial, Gawadia was found guilty on a total of 14 charges, encompassing grave offenses such as communicating national defense information to benefit a foreign nation, breaching the Arms Export Control Act, and engaging in money laundering activities. These convictions underscored the severity of Gawadia's actions and the magnitude of the threat posed to national security by his illicit activities. Subsequently, in January 2011, he was sentenced to a lengthy term of 32 years in federal prison. This harsh sentence reflected the gravity of Gawadia's crimes and served as a deterrent to others who might contemplate similar acts of espionage or unlawful dissemination of classified information. The judicial proceedings against Gawadia demonstrated the U.S. government's unwavering commitment to upholding the rule of law and safeguarding the nation's vital interests against internal threats and external adversaries. Imprisonment in Supermax Nosher Gawadia is presently incarcerated at the ADX Florence Supermax Prison in Colorado, renowned for housing the most dangerous and notorious inmates in the United States. His placement in this high-security facility reflects the gravity of his crimes, notably his involvement in espionage and threats to national security. As a convicted individual who compromised classified information and potentially endangered the safety of the nation, Gawania's confinement at ADX Florence is a testament to the seriousness with which the U.S. government addresses such offenses. The stringent security measures implemented at this facility are deemed necessary to prevent any potential risks posed by inmates with Gawadia's background, ensuring the protection of sensitive information and national security interests. Impact and Implications Nosher Gawadia's case starkly illustrates the profound ramifications of espionage and the unauthorized disclosure of classified information, serving as a sobering reminder of the imperative to safeguard national security assets. His actions which involved providing classified data on the B-2 stealth bomber to foreign governments posed a direct threat to U.S. military capabilities and strategic interests. Through his conviction and subsequent sentencing to 32 years in a supermax prison, the U.S. government underscored its unwavering commitment to upholding the integrity of classified information and deterring individuals from compromising national security. This case emphasizes the critical importance of stringent measures in place to combat espionage, including robust investigative efforts, collaboration between law enforcement agencies and intelligence services, and the prosecution of those found guilty of betraying the nation's trust. Ultimately, Gawadia's story serves as a cautionary tale, demonstrating the severe consequences that await individuals who disregard the gravity of their actions and undermine the security of the United States. Thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and hit bell icon.